Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for supporting this channel. I do appreciate you. Let's see what the messages are at this time. Holy Spirit, I come to you on behalf of my collective. We are very grateful, Holy Spirit, for the insight and guidance that you have provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit. But what are the messages at this time? What is it that you would like for us to know from you through me at this time? Please and thank you, Holy Spirit. What are the messages? Let's see, y'all. Let's see what comes out. Let's do that. Let's not put nothing on it. Let's see what comes out. Let's go. Alien DNA is the first card out. Hmm. Let's see. I feel like some of y'all have some descendants from this type of energy that are watching over you right now. Okay? That's what I'm getting from that. What else, Holy Spirit? Got all kind of ancestors now. Cryptic. Child. You know how on True Blood, when I can't think of his name, but he was going with Sookie Stackhouse. Some some type of woman had came and took over their town, and she was basically using their town as a sacrifice. She was some kind of horned god something. I can't remember. But the part that I'm I'm seeing in my head is when Bill, that was his name, tried to bite the woman to try to stop her because she was, you know, killing people and doing all kind of crazy shit in their town. It made him sick, her blood. Her blood made him sick when he bit her. He was throwing up black shit and stuff, okay? This is what I just got from this. Somebody tried to bite you spiritually and they realize that whatever type of dna whatever type of blood makeup you got is cryptic to their biological system it makes them sick your energy your your dna and somebody is getting a lick back because somebody tried to mess with you in a spiritual way and your ancestors and your DNA got on their ass. Very cryptic. No matter what they say or do, they will never beat you. I'm telling you, somebody energy has somebody throwing up black shit. I don't know. That's what I'm getting, y'all. I'm getting that shit. And they realize that whatever type of alien DNA strand you come from, they can't they can't try to alchemize your energy. They damn sure can't try to steal it. Okay? That's what I'm getting here. What else, Holy Spirit? Well damn. Take a break. Whoever you are, I feel like you've really been asking for spiritual protection as of late because you know that there was someone playing around in your energy trying to cause some sort of hurt and harm in your life. But I feel like you can relax because whoever this is, they just learned a lesson about playing in your energy tonight. They learned that your DNA ain't no DNA that they can try to siphon. Your energy is not no energy that they have Oh, I can't make it up. If they play in your energy, they will get sick. I'm telling you, somebody might be throwing up black shit for real. Y'all think I'm playing now. 
I'm telling you the vision I got, and you ain't that creature that they were trying to take down in true blood, but that's the type of reaction that whoever this is had to trying to harvest your energy. Archangel Haniel is in the building, okay? I'm telling you, you, you know, don't ever put no limitations on your ancestors, okay? Just know love is truly in action. They will show you. And your ancestors have showed up and showed out for somebody tonight. Okay? Archangel Haniel is most definitely watching over you as well. Anything else before we go to the tarot, Holy Spirit? Please and thank you. Anything else here? Babies? Clarify this, babies, Holy Spirit. Rats are around you. I feel like this babies talks about how you have passed your DNA down to your children. And there are there is somebody who is scoping you and your kids. Let's let's see. Anything else, Holy Spirit? There's somebody that wants the DNA of you and your children. They want y'all energy because they know that y'all are special. Y'all are some, some type of star seed here. Divorced. What the fuck is this? They evil is on the bottom. Whoever you are, you could be divorced. Love yourself. Cut the deck on love yourself. I'm picking up something like whoever, whoever you are, you are the matriarch of your family. You do have children, and these people, are, whoever these people are, see, see, these people, whoever these people are, are aware of you and your baby's bloodline, child. And these people have been trying to bite y'all, harvest from y'all, siphon from y'all, okay? And whatever they tried to do, baby, I'm telling you, somebody asked throwing up black shit for a show. I, I'm telling you what I saw. They throwing up black shit for show for playing around in your energy. But what else do you want us to know here, Holy Spirit? Playing around in you and your baby's energy, okay? So you can you can cool out a little bit, whoever, for show, a lot of bit, okay? Whoever I'm talking to. Because the universe is showing you how much they love you, how much they fuck with you right now. Because I'm telling you, they, they didn't drop some bombs on somebody's head tonight for playing around in your energy, okay? Bombs over Baghdad just damn came on. So whoever these rats are that are around you that have tried to siphon your alien DNA... They know that no matter what they say or do, they will never beat you. They ass might need to take a break because somebody's sick for playing in your energy. And even though you are divorced, even this is what I'm picking up, even though you may not have a partner or someone to defend you and look, protect you and your babies, you have... Your ancestors, Archangel Haniel in particular, watching over you, avenging you, showing you how much they truly love you because they are protecting you and your, your children, okay? Your babies. Now, that's for somebody tonight. So, let's see what else. Did I just saw the four of wands. Your home is protected. Your children are protected wherever their home is at, Okay? Well, let's see. I had just saw seven of wands too. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what else do we need to know about this here, please? And thank you. 
Eight of Swords with the Moon. There is, there is, there are rather, there were. They may still be there, but they show reconsidering how they fuck with you. Because there was somebody who was trying to spiritually trap and imprison you tonight. Okay, these hidden enemies, these rats that are around you. But baby, it didn't work out like they thought it was. I'm telling you right now. They was trying to get your energy. They was trying to, they was trying to get you now. Not just you, you and your babies. Possibly a king of swords. Because I'm telling you, it's something about your energy. It's something about y'all blood. It's something about y'all blood in particular. And that's interesting because I have been picking up on vampires. I have. But I don't even feel like fucking with that shit. Okay, these could be some sort of vampires. Okay, 11-11, I'm telling you. These people tried to siphon you. However they did that. They've been watching your ass for a while. You and your babies. They know y'all got alien DNA, but they thought that they could somehow get it. For real, I'm picking up on it. They, This King of Swords has partnered with other people. But I'm telling you, this is what they were met with. When they tried to siphon your energy tonight, it's the King of Wands out here. It's, ooh, hit my elbow. I'm trying to tell you spiritual confirmation. It's multiple people who work together, a King of Swords and a King of Wands in particular, to try to siphon your energy in your dream state. This, this is real time when I'm picking up on um, and I'm telling you, somebody's sick from that shit, 1221. I don't know why these people want, look, I done told y'all to stop playing the people energy now. Now, I had picked up on a group of affluent men a few months ago who was trying to spiritually gangbang this, this divine feminine in the dream state and somebody came back throwing up and had to go to the hospital because they couldn't stop throwing up for fucking playing in that divine feminine energy. And how, whatever, how this, who, it was a king of wands, I think. And he had got so sick that all them other men had gotten scared and they were frightened of what was going to happen to them because the main ringleader, 1313, had gotten extremely ill after they tried to do some sort of sex magic on a divine feminine. I'm picking up that same type of energy. These people are under judgment. This king of swords and this king of wands, justice right behind that child. I'm talking about the scales was immediately balanced in your favor when these men tried to siphon your energy. Queen of Pentacles. Look, y'all think I'm playing immediately in the tower and the ten of wands because you are divinely protected. Here go Archangel Haniel right here. Here go your divine intervention for sure. These men immediately face some sort of terror. Damn, my cat just purred behind me trying to tell you. They immediately faced some sort of hidden terror that they were not expecting. Okay, so it ain't no tell telling how your ancestors showed up. Especially with the strand of DNA that you have. It ain't no telling what these king, just these, these two men saw. Okay? But they know not to fuck with you. Clarify, Holy Spirit. They know they can't harvest your energy. I'm telling you, chariot with the seven of cups. They know that if they come in, they were very, they were under some illusions about your energy, child. They realized when they came in 
Because they, they came hard at you tonight. Hoping that your energy would provide them with options. But I'm telling you, they were not aware. They had, they had built a lot of fantasies off of what they was going to produce from your DNA. Like, I'm really picking up on two energies who partnered together, this King of Swords and this King of Wands. And they really felt like they was going to, like, jump you or something spiritually. Like, you're, you're this single woman, single mother. Nobody don't care about you. Nobody ain't worried about you. You divorced. It's some type of stereotype that they still try to place on you knowing that you have this alien DNA. So you, there's nothing stereotypical about you. On the outside looking in, you might check a few general boxes, but I'm telling you, these people underestimated you. They underestimated you. It's something about you being a single woman, a single mother that made them feel that you were more vulnerable and susceptible to what they were going to do, okay? But I'm telling you, they, they had some big plans for your energy, which to me, you know, I'm all about logic, okay? I really am. I, I, I do deal and delve greatly into spirituality, but I am a fan of logic as well, because if it don't make sense, it don't make money, okay? This don't make sense. And they thought they was going to make them some money off this Queen of Pentacles energy. I'm telling you, Seven of Cups is falling right up under her. They felt like they was going to have some real options in life behind this woman energy. But if you think this woman's energy is that powerful, why would you think she is vulnerable? Okay? If, if she got that kind of shit running through her, her and her babies, seven, the camera cut off when I said that spiritual confirmation, but a hoe finna record tonight, okay? I'll just fucking camera cutting off shit. I'm pushing right through that tonight because we going to get this message out. Because one of these men sick right now. You, you ever seen... If you've ever had to take activated charcoal for anything and how it looked when you boo-boo out activated charcoal, that black shit, I'm telling y'all, one of these men is throwing up some black shit right now, okay? But what I was saying before the camera cut off, I'm going to finish re, finish make, driving that point home. If you know that this woman and her baby's got alien DNA, why would you think she is an easy mark okay obviously it's something supernatural and spiritual protecting her and her children if you are positive she has this strand of dna running through her and these men got a whiff 111 of the type of supernatural protection around you okay they realized that that ain't going with this world card Whatever they thought that they could do to you, whatever curiosity they had about your energy and how they could utilize it, that's not an option for them anymore. They know that now. That, that, that cycle, that goal is now defunct, okay? And these people trying to weigh their options this king and queen, I keep wanting to say queen, king and king, this king of swords and this king of wands, they are this two of cups. And both of these people is in the five of pentacles right now. Both of these people is trying to get their wits about them for show. And one of them is sick. I don't know which one, maybe this king of swords Aquarius is. Because he may have done the, the majority of the spiritual work against this Queen of Pentacles Empress here. That's what it looks like. It looks like this King of Swords is the one who might be throwing up this black shit I'm picking up on. Because he put in the majority of the work. 
And both of these people, both of these people, this King of Wands put in some work too. But both of these men, clarify Holy Spirit before I say that, please and thank you. Clarity, please and thank you. Will of Fortune. I'm telling you, both of these men really felt like this mother, this single mother, was some sort of easy target. They were not expecting this turning point in the situation. They were sure that this Empress's Queen of Pentacles energy was going to have them on the top of the wheel. So if you are a single mother who sometimes feels like you don't got no masculine protection, 333, three, three, you are divinely protected. You got you got masculine protection, baby. I promise you that. And even though you didn't know it, a few people got shown how protected you are tonight, okay? They definitely experience a turning point in their health. These people are struggling right now. Trust me on that. And they know they defeated too. Because this high level of judgment that they're experiencing lets them know that you are untouchable. That's what this Nine of Pentacles is giving me. You're independent of any type of efforts that they make to try to secure your energy, your DNA. They weren't ready, child. They're trying to figure out exactly what they missed. What did they what did they miss, honey? I'm telling you the hangman in the damn deck in reverse. They digging a little deeper now because I'm telling you they thought this was gonna be a a quick what do you call it? Dash and grab. That's what they thought they was gonna do to this Queen of Pentacles Empress's energy now and her children. So if they try to do anything, if they try to siphon anything from your children tonight as well, that's why they really getting their ass kicked. Okay? And I think they understand that with this four of pentacles following this hangman in reverse. They didn't get it at first. But they realize that this apathy that they're receiving from the universe tonight Okay, because they were going to try to steal your energy with this four of pentacles. They were going to try to hoard your light, your DNA. They know now, I'm telling you, they they, they enlighten like a motherfucker now. Clarify, Holy Spirit. And then we can close. This King of Swords, Aquarius energy, and this King of Wands, they know now. And the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. And I'm dropping the mic on that. It ain't really too much else to say. But this is for a, a, a mother. A mother who is doing it all on her own. Trying to provide for her and her children. And somebody thought you was an easy target. And they've learned tonight that it ain't nothing easy about you or your babies, okay? Because y'all star seeds. And y'all got supernatural ancestors looking out for y'all. Spiritual and supernatural. High priestess on the bottom. That Look, just because it might look like you about yourself, just because you ain't got somebody to the left of you and the right of you that somebody can see, that don't mean ain't nobody there, okay? And I'm dropping the mic on that. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.